This guy shut off. Shut off right there. And turn back on. Shut off. Shut off right there. Disappeared. Now we have lines. Gotta just shut off, man. Right there. There's a crisscross. Right there, shut off. thing or global weirding and what does it mean when we have no sunlight there is no photosynthesis there is no vitamin D and there is no immune system we as living beings on the earth all need full spectrum sunlight for different things if and sir that sort of thing that's why they tell you to put sunscreen on your skin because the sunscreen is carcinogenic in itself and it cuts off the skin from direct contact with the sun so you can't even make vitamin d3 aren't they clever our doctors hmm and well of course sunlight has been used for ages to disinfect uh, things and the photosynthesis in plants and food crops and it, of course it's an alternate energy source which we have lost already for 60 percent as dane wigginton told, told us ultraviolet light a part of sunlight is also very important and these are physical processes for which we need ultraviolet light it helps our metabolism it keeps our blood pressure down it helps us with our sex hormones it has a better heart efficiency and i'm talking also about the other heart energy here natural vitamin d3 production calcium calcium absorption you can treat psoriasis that is the skin disease and um, people with asthma can breathe more easily uh, it brings down the blood cholesterol although that is a whole different lecture uh, because the whole cholesterol story is not what you're being told by your doctor uh, it helps with weight loss and it does something good to your blood calcium and vitamin d3 is not a vitamin actually it's a hormone and it does a lot of things that are very important for our health that is it has to do with how our bone structure behaves and how our cells behave um, in terms of cancer vitamin d3 helps regulate the um, apoptosis the programmed cell death so everybody has cancer cells in his body but our own system can take them down but we need vitamin d3 to do the job among other things we have aluminum in the chemtrails and the aluminum in the chemtrails enhances the effects of harp and harp is sending out electro low no, ex, extreme or extra low frequencies and these frequencies work with or against or in or through our bodily systems because as i said we are electrical beings that's why homeopathy works it's frequency information and so heart can 
change our thoughts, thoughts and emotions and give us anxiety, inability to concentrate and depression. Barium is also very nice stuff that helps to steer the jet stream, which is interesting. You can, you can manipulate the weather and the climate. But barium makes us more vulnerable for X-band radar. And also barium takes potassium out of the human organism. And we have in our cells this sodium-potassium pump to bring stuff in and out of the cells. So if that's out of whack, you see what will happen. You will be less healthy than you could be. And because there's less potassium, you have more uh, risk on muscle weakness and heart defibrillation. And then there's another thing, the magnesium that you get, not too much from your food, but because in, in the soil there's not so much magnesium here. But any magnesium that is in your body can bind to the aluminum and give blood clotting. There are many, many people on blood thinners, warfarin, coumadin, but what they do, to, they do is calcify the arteries and erase short-term memory. So the minions can do whatever they do over and over and over again as long as you are on warfarin and coumadin. And the barium and aluminum together, they work to diffuse and strengthen an electrical charge. And since, again, we are electrical beings, there is an effect bodily on, 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 in our minds as well. This is an X-band radar and it's... So the images are filtered. Who does the weather modeling for the National Weather Service and NOAA? Raytheon. Defense contractor, geoengineering contractor, geoengineering patent holder, Raytheon. We have meteorologists now reading scripts. That's all they do. Aerosolized microwave clouds look like. That's what they look like. And we have the meteorological community telling us this is normal. <laughs> And consider what the science community does after Fukushima. They raised the quote-unquote safe level of radiation by 10,000%. What changed? They make it up as they go, and we have an academic system that has been bought, sold, and paid for by the power structure. These clouds, as you see, are aerosolized with electrically conductive nanoparticulates that can be manipulated when exposed to radio frequencies that can cause them to repel each other. So you get an appearance, if you put iron shavings on a table with a magnet underneath, they align. And this is the same scenario we see in our clouds. So this is how they're trying to create as much cloud cover as possible, however toxic, however damaging to the atmosphere, that's their goal. This is part of how they accomplish it. These clouds are absolutely, indisputably being exposed to radio frequency transmission. We have aluminum in the chemtrails. And the aluminum in the chemtrails enhances the effects of HARP. And HARP is sending out electro, low, no, ex, extreme or extra low frequencies. And these frequencies work with or against or in or through our bodily systems because as I said we are electrical beings that's why homeopathy works it's frequency information and so heart can change our thoughts thoughts and emotions and give us anxiety inability to concentrate and depression barium is also very nice stuff that helps to steer the jet stream which is interesting you can you can manipulate the weather and the climate but barium makes us more vulnerable for x-band radar and also barium takes potassium out of the human organism and we have in our cells this sodium potassium pump to bring stuff in and out of the cells so if that's out of whack you see what will happen you will be less healthy than you could be. And